Hello, Mike. Uh, we have a new guy today. Rance, how are you? You guys hear me? Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. All right. Uh, as you all know, uh, Sunday I have a broadcast with Carl Latham, and we're going to journey into <clears throat> the new breathe. Now, the new breathe is actually the way you, you're playing when you're playing with the band, but there's a tremendous amount of prerequisites. And if you want to get any worth out of the new breed, you need to read, understand how to read, the mechanics of reading, uh, and making that reading swing into a musical kind of feel. So what I've done, and you should all have the PDFs, I know you do, Mike. Rance, I know you don't. So unless you're on my, are you on my mailing list, Rance? My email is this. So if you email me, I will send you today's PDFs, or unless you have the new breed. Mike, do you have the new breed, the book? Okay, so you have the new breed. Okay, good for you, and you have the PDFs. How about you, Rance? Now, I don't know if today's, today's going to be a long lesson. It probably is. But I've come up with a unique way of reading or teaching reading. Okay. Email me, Rance, and I will send you the PDFs on today's lesson, a breakdown on the reading. Now, Carl is going to do page 16 and 17. I've only had time enough to do page 16, a breakdown. And Mike, you know that if you ha everybody's reading skills are at a different level. Some could read well, some could read, you know, they need a little bit of work or are unfamiliar with the figure. And the way I present this is a foolproof way of, excuse me, of make sure that you're reading well. Now, you don't have anything, so you could, you could look, look at the lesson rants. The, re the lesson is going to be filmed. I mean, it's going to be uh, taped, and it will be up on my, my site. Okay? So, so after I finish the lesson, maybe 15, 20 minutes later, if you have time, you can listen to the video. If you have the PDF sheets, it's going to help you. In the meantime, just stay, relax, and see where I'm coming from or what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have, this is from Pace. 16. Let me get the book. Hold on. Oh, man. Okay, the new breed. Now, you don't have to go out and buy the book, but it'd be nice because I'm going to be doing a lot of work from this book and in association with the Patterns book from Gary Shafee, Time Functions, the Stick Control book, and Syncopation book as well. So, I've taken the liberty to break down, measure by measure, page 16 of uh, the lesson for Sunday. So, the first line... And these are all melody lines that you're going to be playing with the bass drum. So before you can take it to the bass drum, you're going to need to understand the mathematics and the reading. So I'm going to play the first line, or the first measure rather. I'd rather say the first uh, line of the PDF, because you're going to have the PDF. Okay, Rance? So, 
we have the first line, and I'm going to play with one hand. And I'm going to give myself, just to break it down, a 16th note count. 1 E and the 2 E and 3 E and the 4 and. That's what the figure is. Now, some guys say, well, yeah, how does uh, the third downbeat go? Or what am I playing wrong on the second downbeat? So what I've done, I've taken, I, I think it's a unique way, and it's always there because it's in the stick control book. I've taken that line and made it a run of 16th notes. What's there, I made my right hand, and what's not there, I made my left hand. So the second line of the PDF would be 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the. Now, I look at that and I say, okay, if I eliminate the left, I'm going to have 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the. The uh, four E and the uh, right there is the figure that you're reading. In case you're not sure uh, where where the dotted eighth note is and where the sixteenth falls, so on and so forth, it's presented. It's a foolproof way of writing. So if I just play the sticking pattern, which is a, you could use it as a stick control book pattern, one E and the uh, two E and I'm uh, sorry. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the stick control book. So I write out a straight line of 16th notes and I put the sticking in there. However, all the rights I make what is presented in the reading and all the lefts what's not there. So you have again, just I'm going to play with the rights and I'm going to fill in with the lefts. 1 and I'm making all my rights a free stroke. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the. And again, if you eliminate the lefts, you have 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the. Hey, Mike, is you following that? Is that helping you understand the pattern? Ranch, you'll see it come together once you get the PDF. Ranch, where are you from, by the way? All right, so it's a foolproof way of, of learning how to read. Now, before you could take that particular figure and play it with your bass drum against a different pattern, you have to understand that reading. And we're going to get into that uh, tonight on uh, my site, and we're going to get into that Wednesday as well, on this site and my site, as I'm giving a preliminary for the up-and-coming event. So the, 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 the new breed, everybody like, oh, wow, that's really difficult. It's not difficult. It's the way you play. And he presents it with that uh, approach. Okay, so let's go to line two, okay, Mike? Oh, by the way, Mike, happy birthday. <laughs> what are you, 23 now or 24? Which is it? Okay. And Rance, where are you from? Sixty-four, you're young. Rance, you're still there? All right, we're going to go to line two on the PDF. I, I label them as 2, 2A, two 3A, three, three so on and so forth. Okay? So line two, you have an eighth note rest and an eighth note, which would be 1 and 2 and, and then, I'm sorry, 1 and 2 and 3 and four and all right i'm going to count it in sixteenths line two one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the. that's what's presented that's the, the the reading line one and two and three e and four 
one and two and three and four. Now, if you don't know how to read it, here's a way to do a foolproof reasoning, or a way rather. What I've done, if you go to 2A, you'll see I did a straight line of 16s. And again, I played what wasn't there with my lefts, what's there with my rights. So I have 1, E, and the 2, E, and the 3, E, and the 4, E, and the. So I, limit, I eliminate the lefts. What's this? Ugh. Hold on. So I, I eliminate the lefts. And this is what I come up with. Now remember, I'm playing all my rights full strokes. So I have one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. If you follow this system, you'll become a better a better reader. We're not to, we're not phrasing anything. We're just uh, understanding the rules of math. How much a quarter note equals four sixteenths, two eighth notes, a dotted eighth note equals three sixteenths, so on and so forth. And this is presenting it to you in, in, this, in this way. So if you don't understand the figure, all you need to go, for example, line two, go to two A, and play just the rights. One, E, and the, two, E, and the, three, E, and the, four, E, and the. Full proof. Okay, so now we're going to go to line three on the PDF. You have a quarter note, uh, rest, you have a quarter note, then an eight, dotted eighth note, sixteenth, and another quarter note rest. Now I'm going to play it, or I'm going to count in sixteenth note counting. And I'm going to play the figure. One, three on the PDF. One, E, and a, uh, two, E, and a, uh, three, E, and a, uh, four, E, and a. Uh. No problem. But now, if you're uncertain, if you go to 3A, 3A tells you what it is. Again, if I just play the sticking, 1, E, and, I'm sorry, 1, E, and the 2, E, and the 3, E, and the 4, E, and the. Simple sticking pattern. Now, what I'm doing, I'm going to eliminate the lefts, and I'm going to play just the rights. And when I play just the rights, it's the figure itself on line three. One, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, I'll play it up tempo. One, two, one, two, three, ah, uh, one, two, three, ah. Uh. You'll get it there, but you have to understand how to read it first. Okay, so that takes care of line three. I don't think that we're going to be able to go through the whole 64 of these today, but what I'm trying to do is give you a reference of how to see, to check yourself if you're right or wrong. Now, like I said, everybody, we're all on a different level of reading. Some people are great readers, some people, you know, are uncertain and need a little bit of work, and they just, well, some people just don't understand, or they don't know how to read, and they don't know what a dotted eighth note is, or a dotted, six, a dotted quarter note, so on and so forth. And this is telling you a foolproof way of reading. So I'm on line four. I have an eighth note rest and an eighth note, which would be one and. Now I want to count that in sixteenths. One e and the. Uh. Now I go to the second downbeat. I have a sixteenth note rest and a dotted eighth note. Now remember, the dotted eighth note is equal to three sixteenths. So I'm on the second, the, the second downbeat, which would be two E and the. And on the third downbeat, I have a uh, quarter note, which would be three E and the. And then on four, I have a quarter note rest. Now again, if you play the sticking pattern below it, one E and the, two E and the three E and the four E and the and you eliminate the uh, left and you play.
play just the right, so you have one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. Hello, Dylan. Welcome. You're late. Overslept again. Dylan, you need to sign up. This YouTube thing will be going away in a few days. You have the website address, Dylan? And did you get the PDFs? Okay, Mike, do you understand that so far? Number four. Does that help you understand how the notation falls? I need some interaction here. I mean, I'm talking, talking, and talking. And nobody is responding. Can you hear me? I hope. Help. <laughs> Hello. What I always dreamt of is talking to a screen. All right, well, you know, what I'm going to do, Mike, uh, I have this one particular, well, a couple different pages from this one book. And the book is no longer in, uh, it's not, uh, it's not, no longer published, called Variations of Drumming. It's a monthly site, Dylan. No more six months. It's $19.99 per month. Reoccurring payment once a month, whenever you sign up. Okay, so anyway, uh, I have this one, a couple different pages from this one book called Variations of Drumming by Ralph C. Pace. Now, Ralph C. Pace uh, passed on a while back, and his son, Ralph C. Pace Jr., plays drums. Good drummer. And Ralph came here, Junior came here, and we talked about rewriting the book and we couldn't come to any kind of terms. So what I'm going to do, the way I, I'm presenting this right now, I'm going to take a few measures and it's, the beginning is like very mixed up. It's like a 16th note, a dotted 8th note, uh, a dotted 8th note rest, a 16th note. It gets a little confusing. So with this kind of system, it's foolproof, you'll be able to read. All right, we're on line five, I believe. So I'm going to be doing that for you, Mike, and for everybody else as well. Everybody that's on my, my mailing list. I need for you to sign up today, Dylan. Line five, okay? You have a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. I count sixteenth notes. You're on line five. Dylan, get on line five, okay? Of the PDFs, number five. A dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note, you have one E and the. Now I go to the second downbeat. You have a dotted eighth note rest, which you don't play, but you're gonna you're gonna rest for three sixteenth notes of a count. Two E and the. I go to three, it's an eighth note rest. That equals two sixteenths, so that's three E then I have an eighth note, which would be and, the. Then on the count of four, I have an eighth note rest, which is four, E. Then I have an eighth note on the and, and, the. So now, what we have, again, is the sticking below it, five, five, A. Five, A is the sticking that I made a straight line of sixteenths. Again, one, E, and, the. Two, E, and, the, three, E, and, the, four, E, and, the. It's stick control. That's all it is. I've made a, a variety of sticking system. How's the reading? So now, <coughs> I eliminate all the lefts, and I'm going to play all the rights on 5A. I'm going to count slow. We all know how to play that. We know how to play the straight 16s. So you have the different sticking patterns, just eliminate the lefts, and that will give you the figure on line five, full proof. One, E, and, the, two, E, and, the, three, E, and, the, four, E, and, the. Now, what this is in the new breed is the melody line. All right, 
and the melody line he projects as your bass drum, playing as the bass drum, against the different variations or different patterns with the right hand, the snare drum, and the hi-hat. And yeah, you count it at first like you're doing now, but eventually you hum it against what you're playing. It's a very, it, it is the way you play, but there is no other book out there or, or mythology book out there that presents it that way. That's why this book is very popular. And a lot of people kind of ignore it because the book is nice, it's, the result is great, it takes a tremendous amount of hard work, and people kind of ignore it. Why? Because it's difficult and it takes a lot of time. All right, we're going to go to line six. Uh, it's actually measure six of page 16. I have a eighth note rest, which is two, equals to two sixteenths. So that's going to be one E. Then I have an eighth, no, eighth note coming up, which is the and the. Then on the count of three, I have a quarter note. Three, E, and the. Then on the third downbeat, I have a dotted eighth note, which equals three sixteenths. Three, E, and, and then I have a sixteenth, the. And then four, I have a quarter note rest. So I'll play line six. One E and the, two E and the, three E and the, four E and the. Now, the, the reason, like I said before, the reason why I'm presenting it this way is we have uh, drummers that on all different levels of reading. Some can read this, no problem. It's like, you know, rudimentary. It's like, a, it's, it's the beginning kind of thing. And there's some people who can read it but are, are not sure. And that's why I presented it with the uh, sticking patterns and eliminating the laps. And there's some other people who just don't know how to read and this definitely will help. Do we all agree with that? Dylan, any response on your part? Knock, knock. Mike? All right. So what that does, it helps. Now what we're going to do, all right, tonight on a drum set, we're going to do a drum set application. Well, the math shouldn't take a while because the math is very simple. Right? It's just that if you're aware of fractions, if you look at uh, the time signature, which is 4-4 four, four time, and you maintain the rules, so you have a quarter note is equal to, every quarter note is equal to a beat. So one quarter could equal four sixteenths, two eighths, a dotted uh, eighth note and a sixteenth. And if you add, them, add everything up, if you add, uh, for example, if you do line six and you add it up, you add one eighth, which is the eighth note rest, another eighth note is an one eighth, plus one quarter, Plus, uh, you have three sixteenths is the dotted eighth note. Three sixteenths plus a sixteenth plus a quarter. And if you add them up, if you're good with fractions, you add them up, you bring it to a common denominator, you reduce it, and guess what you come to? Four, four, time. It's a simple process. It's not sometimes the math helps... At this particular point, it's all math. We're not playing phrasing, we're not uh, phrasing, we're not humming, we're not taking it as a figure inside of a tune. We're learning the mathematics of notation. We're not phrasing, we're not using any dynamics. So, if you want to become efficient in reading, you should be efficient in fractions. Do we agree with that? No. Well, yeah, you could say, it's, I'm counting in 16th, so I'm using a 16th note grid. You're absolutely right, Dylan. So if I went one E and a, that's a 16th note grid. Two E and there's an additional 16th note grid. Okay? And like I, I mentioned uh, in the drum groups on Facebook, coming in, in a little while, we're going to do displacement playing over the line, and metric modulation. So, 
you should get the math together for that. I mean, I don't recommend going out and playing a gig using displacement because they'll they'll say that you can't play time. You're off. But we'll we'll see we'll see when we get, when we get to there. You know, I've been getting uh, email from everyone, mostly everyone, that they're so overwhelmed they don't know what to practice. Well, practicing is a very personal kind of thing. You know, talk about being overwhelmed. I, I'm first in line. Like I say, okay, well, I want to work on, for example, developing a better foot. So I practice, I practice my foot. Or if I want to condition my hands, I work on the drum pad doing exercises. If I want to learn a tune, I put the tune on them and play it over and over and over and over again. You know, so practicing is personal. And what I'm going to be doing as well on my site, I am uh, in the process of making videos, instructional videos, with the level system, reading, uh, fat back, jazz patterns, or jazz interpretations. And I'm going to be selling instructional videos, very minimal, maybe two, two fifty per video, which comes with a PDF. And you'd be able to purchase it. You're only going to be able to purchase that if you pay, and you're the only one that can see it. You cannot down, uh, down burn it to a disc and sell it, or have you can sell, you can show somebody that uh, video on your computer, but it's not going to go anywhere else. Okay, so. I've been having a, I'm going to try to get the second page down for you, just the way I did this. And I would hang out with that, Mike, and if you're going to come, Dylan, for Sunday, come and do this. Work on it. And understand, if you, if you have the, the new breed, fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. But I would get it, but if you're going to register, we're going to be working from the new breed, the patterns book, the syncopation book, and most definitely the uh, stick control book. Now, I just did five, five lines. I'm not going to do 72 measures. All right? They're all self-explanatory. I just wanted to give you some uh, insight on what the concept is. Do you understand the concept, everybody? Dylan, Mike, who else is in here? It says there's five people. Let's see. Who else is in here? Come on, Mouse. Rance, are you still in here? Hello? Rance, speak up. Susan! Okay, you just missed the, my statement. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, I'm just about to close it up, but that's okay. That's no problem, Sue. All right. You know, I, I received the email about uh, being overwhelmed and the PDFs matching the, 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 uh, the lessons, so on and so forth. So I just made an announcement that uh, on my site, Sunday, uh, well, you're going to be on the computer. It's 3 p.m. It's going to be on YouTube, okay? It's on this channel. All right, let me talk to Susan for a little bit. Now, I'm a, I'm a maniac, as maybe most of you can see, and all I, all I do is uh, I, I think drums, you know, 24-7. It's 3 p.m., Mike. Now, Susan, you have the sheet, the PDF I sent, and it's very self-explanatory, what I just did, and I'm going to do it again tonight. Uh, not on, uh, just, I'm going to do it on the drum set, and uh, I'm going to give you some orchestrations on it. But let's talk about practicing, you know, and being overwhelmed. And, you know, I give different lessons uh, four times a week. That's a lot of work with PDFs. And, you, you know, you get overwhelmed, you got all this to do, and you just don't have time to do it. Well, this is knowledge, you, you know, that if you can't do it, you should put it on the back burner. Simple. Okay? 
and uh, you just work on something that you want to work on. And you could bring the questions to the, to the stream about if you're having difficulty, you just don't quite understand it. I have a file on everything. So you ask me a question, well, uh, January 13th, uh, you did a, a video or a, a stream on the level system and what do you mean by a free stroke? I could address that, okay? I, I don't have files on today's live stream. I have files on today's live stream because you have the PDF. You have to file that as this is uh, the basic reading concept of page 16 from the new brief. I put it in protective sheets into a, a binder and you'll have it. No problem. Do we understand that? Susan, does that help? I am making videos, instructional videos as well, okay, and uh, like I said, I'm a maniac, and yeah, I do give a lot of work, but that's good, I mean, that's just knowledge, it makes you want to work harder, not to uh, make you, uh, not to discourage you, it's to make you work harder, and that, that's how I work, and that's how I operate it. I've been doing this now for about maybe almost four years, and I have never repeated my lessons. However, there I have I get sidetracked when I stream because of a question, and I go back to the lesson that we did. But the new the new lesson every uh, stream is new, except for this week. I'm going to be focusing in on the new breed, the reading at least, and give you some orchestration on the drum set this evening and that's going to help you and get mu help you get much more at a Sunday stream and Susan will you be here Sunday because I have a couple other people that are going to be here as well you get to know them and take some pictures and we can put them on uh, Facebook and good very good okay anyway it's time for me to lock up I'm sorry I would say maybe 1.30, 2 o'clock. We're going to we'd be setting up and doing some tests in, in, in that area. We're not going to stream until 3, so you'd be, you, you'd be the judge of that. But it's best that you get here earlier so that you can get to know everybody, feel more comfortable, and get to know who, who else is, is here uh, observing the stream. Okay, so we're going to be 8.30 tonight. Well, Mike, th those people... Yes, took me about three or four hours, and now you have them, and you're going to get a ton more up the road. You need to practice 10 hours a day. <laughs> I wish. I'm just kidding. You practice as much as you want. See, the, the whole thing here is to have fun, all right, and you have a goal in mind. You know, you want to become a better, better player, and you want to, you know, get to a point where, you know, you can just sit down and play a tune and that's where we're going but also all you 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 just have to have fun you have to ha have a passion and a desire for it and if you do that and you, you work hard it'll come the only person stopping you from becoming better is you the more time you practice and practice the right thing the right way and I'm going to do a, a, a stream on that on getting the most out of your practice. You know, this, uh, I, uh, sit here and, and work on something, then something comes to mind. And then I start working on that. And I've done that for a while, and I, I'm not really accomplishing anything. So I kind of close my mind onto what I'm practicing and work that and work it and work it until I feel good about it and stay with it. Without a doubt, you guys should be practicing at least two hours a day. At least. That's a minimum. Anything over that, you're going forward quick. Okay, so with that all being said, I'm going to need to close down. I will be back this evening at 8.30. At 8.30 on my channel, www.mattpatellalivelessons.com. Work the PDFs. 
I'm going to try and do as much as I can with the PDFs on this page and give you some insight of where we're going with it Sunday. And I have other things uh, to do uh, tonight. So it'll be a longer lesson this evening. I don't know. Lance, are you still here? And Dylan, are you still here? Mr. Dylan? Dylan! Lance! Talk to me. Uh, my site is still open for free tonight. Okay, email me, Lance. Let me give you the address if you want to come back tonight. Where are you from, Lance? All right. I got married in Italy. I got married in Venice. I was to Italy, Milan, Treviso, Sicily. Beautiful place. That's my email. What you see up on top of your, your post there. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's my site for today. If you want to... Uh, Go to my site at 8.30, my time, Eastern Standard. I, what is there, a seven, a five-hour difference? If you can make it tonight, you're welcome to come. And definitely Sunday, 3 p.m. All right, I'm doing that stream with uh, Carl Latham. All right, is there any questions? And Dylan, are you there? Dylan! Knock, knock. Okay, I'm going to close it up. I'll see everyone tonight. Susan, I apologize. I'm sorry that you were late, but I can't do anything about that. And I have a schedule to maintain. Okay. I just need to hear from Dylan. Where are you, Dylan? Dylan. Okay, we'll see everybody tonight. 8.30, my site, mapatellalivelessons.com. Have a good rest of the day.